for the sign of Scorpio. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Scorpio, in the recent past, we have the King of Pentacles and it's paired with the Six of Wands. Now the King of Pentacles, it's about success and money matters. So this would have been a time that you probably would not have wanted to be a maverick or you should not have tried to be a maverick. It would have been a time for you to follow the established way of doing things. If this card stands for actual man that was in your life or actual person, it refers to a very masculine man. He probably had hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum. This man, he would have been someone that you could have believed in and trust in absolutely with the King of Pentacles. Now, this King of Pentacles is paired with Six of Wands. Now, Six of Wands, it's about victory. So, if you were anxious about a court proceeding in the recent past, or if you wanted to win someone's heart, win your lover's heart, you probably were victorious. This card, it means celebrations. Could mean any type of celebration, really. You could have been a part of a graduation party, commitments, celebrations, or maybe you received a reward for, for good work that you did. The Six of Wands, it makes you feel really good about yourself. And you probably had a lot of support from everyone around you. On the other hand, you could you could have adored someone else by where adoring them made you feel amazing in the recent past. So, for your recent past, Scorpio, this King of Pentacles and Six of Wands, you probably were very happy with how your money was coming in with this King of Pentacles. You felt really secure. Uh, and stable at that time and you also felt like you were victorious with the six of wands so you sounds like for a lot of Scorpios in the recent past you probably got a lot of recognition and your money was was coming in really good and you had a lot of success and victory so let's move on over let's take a look at the present time we got the King of Cups and the King of Swords. Now, the King of Cups, it speaks about a balanced male and feminine energy. This card, it holds all the positive qualities of masculine and feminine. When we're referring to an actual man in your life, it, rep it represents a very kind and loving man. He could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. But with this King of Cups, just keep in mind, you're being supported in ways seen and unseen. Like I said, this King of Cups is about kindness and compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is. So, nurture yourself and allow others to nurture you whenever you get this card in a reading. It's a really positive card. When it comes to love and relationships, this King of Cups, very good. It's, it's showing that uh, someone who's very balanced and loving is coming your way, is coming in. So they'll be very supportive of you. Friendly and they're, they're very tolerant. They're either coming in or you know someone like this or someone's in your life like this. Someone's coming towards you like this or this could be um, your energy. But 
the king of cups is paired with this king of swords which is totally opposite two opposites here now the king of swords it stands for a powerful forceful opinionated man he could have hair eyes on the darker end of the spectrum if this is you scorpio you may be tempted to think about only how things affect you personally very selfish when this card does not represent an actual man and we're talking about you very selfish you may be having a selfish energy coming up in april you or someone coming towards you or maybe someone's in your life like this so if this is you scorpio you might want to consider the feelings of others before you act this king of swords is a once again it's a very forceful energy and you may not be able to get this man to change his mind or to do what you want so you may need to change something major about your behavior thoughts and or expectations but don't overextend your reach now when the king of swords comes to talks about love and relationships like i said a strong forceful opinionated person could be the could be a part of your scenario it means that if this is your lover your husband or your person it means that you're probably going to have to accept this person as they are whether you're male or female you best deal with this person by drawing on your feminine aspects pulling out your feminine side of your nature but don't put up with being mistreated however because like i said this man can walk the line between being stereotypically manly and overstepping his bounds so you might have to protect yourself so you're for your present time it's pretty interesting you got a loving energy supportive friendly tolerant balanced energy and then you got this other energy this king of swords which is forceful abrasive could be abusive uh overstepping their bounds they use their head over their heart with this king of swords they also call it the narcissistic card so it's interesting two opposite energies here so these may be people that you know already your father a co-worker could be some someone's coming towards you like this or this could be you having a need to be hot and cold warm and and cold towards some situation just to get your needs met in april so you might have to turn on and then turn off you know be nice and then be bitter be happy and then be sad because you got two conflicting energies here or you may know someone who's really loving and supportive of you or wants to come in and offer you a cup of love with this king of cups and then you may want to cut it out with this king of swords so these two energies could, uh, they come with a lot of different examples. You may want to cut out this loving person that's coming towards you. Maybe you're just not feeling it, feeling them. And you feel like you have to use a forceful energy with them. So there's, there could be a lot of scenarios with these two interesting energies that you have here. So, uh, should be interesting how that turns out for you. Yeah, one one is nice and one is mean. It could be you or someone coming towards you. Or like I said, maybe these are people that you already know. But just know those energies are, are, there, are there and they're conflicting. So that's your present time, Scorpio. Let's move on. Let's take a look, look at your challenge. We have the Six of Swords. And it's paired with the uh, Nine of Pentacles. 
Now the Six of Swords, it's a great time for travel. As you can see, these two people are in a boat or a canoe, whatever that is. And they're taking off. They're getting away. So it could be, um, it could indicate a change where you are inwardly. Could be that also. Usually it's a change for the better when you get the Six of Swords. Whether it's internal or external. It's about thinking about where you really want to be. So with the Six of, Four, Six of Swords, there's also a reduction in stress. There's also a reduction in strain. Uh, things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they had been in the recent past. So you'll be taking this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even short breaks change of scenery it's going to be helpful to you in April and this doesn't have to cost money so it could just be down the street for a picnic or something of that sort a stroll around the block doesn't have to cost money but it's showing that it's important it's an important thing for you to do it's a necessary task Try to get in some type of movement, whether it's on the treadmill for 15 minutes. It's to reduce some type of stress and strain, and things are, and it's going to improve your situation and bring resolution. Now that's the Six of Swords, and it's paired with the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is one of the most uplifting cards, very encouraging in the tarot. This. This card means your financial worries, they're, they're over for a while, for a lot of you Scorpios. Things will be going better than you thought possible. So you want to enjoy this good energy. And make sure you share your wealth and happiness with others. So if you're in a relationship, this Nine of Pentacles, it means that it, it could rise to new heights of intimacy and joy. So, this is good. And if you're some single Scorpios out there listening, this Nine of Pentacles, it tells you that someone who has what it takes to be in a new, meaningful, deep love, they're coming in. They're headed your way soon. So, smile and get ready. Because that's what you get with the Nine of Pentacles. So, for your challenge, Scorpio, this Six of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Well, you'll be enjoying the finer things in life with the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, and your finance is going to pick up really good with this Nine of Pentacles. Um, but... This won't happen until you get some type of uh, movement going on. You need, you need some type of recovery. Some problems need to be solved. And it's showing that it's, it'll be done with some type of movement. Whether it's walks around the block. Like I said, uh, maybe take a short trip. Doesn't have to cost money. Get on that treadmill for 15 minutes a day. If you can't do an hour like you should, some type of movement, a necessary transition, maybe even relocating, is going to bring about resolution with the Six of Swords. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to make your finances take off in a way that you didn't think was possible. Because for some reason this movement, is, like I said, it's going to bring about some type of resolution in then you'll experience a lot of growth in many ways with the Nine of Pentacles. So just keep in mind, some type of movement is needed for you to get what you really want. So if you're stagnant at this time and you're just sitting on the couch all day, trying to figure out what to do with your time, get up, take a, if you got a house, walk around the house, Go in circles, <laughs> just do some type of movement. It's going to bring about resolution 
and prosperity. Okay? So that's going to be your challenge. Now let's talk about the outcome. We got this devil card here. And then we got page of cups. Now, this devil card, first things first, let me tell you. Don't let other people tell you that your options are limited, Scorpios. If you come to that conclusion, be sure you're coming to it on your own. No matter what, it's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. You may have the feelings coming up in April that you're not in control of your life or maybe you've been feeling that way for a while. Sometimes this could happen as a result of your own actions. But more often, it's usually a byproduct of inaction, taking no action. So make sure you take action. Take whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control. Even if it's merely making a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. Small baby steps, they're important too. This devil card is paired with the page of cups. It's showing a need to play, to dream, to have fun. As you can see, these three people there at the park just hanging loose. I don't know if you want to get that loose. It looks like they're halfway naked. And they're turning up the bottle, so... I think the parks have some limits on how loose you can get. But anyway... Um, there's a need. You're taking yourself too seriously, so there's a need to loosen up have some fun now you've probably heard the saying that there's a difference between there's a difference between taking your work serious and taking yourself serious the first is imperative and the second can be a disaster so you have to know the difference Scorpio so for your outcome the devil and page of cups It looks like you got some addictions here. Could be greed, envy, materialism, obsession. Maybe you got some sexual lust, but there's some addictions going on here, Scorpios. A lot of us have them. I mean, I, I got them. I love to um, mm, mm. I can be a, what do you call those people? I can be an overeater. Like sometimes if, if I'm one of those people that don't speak their mind, I can kind of like hold things in and then I'll take it out by just being a compulsive overeater. Not that I'm overweight or, or, or obese. I'm 140 pounds and I'm 5'9". But I can... Um, that's one of my bad addictions. Like, I'm not one of those um, hostile peoples where I explode. So when I need to explode and I don't, I can just overeat. And it, it becomes an addiction. That's how I handle, you know, things that I should just release with just opening my mouth. And just saying what I feel. So, we all have addictions, but it looks like you got some... That may be coming back to hunt you. So you want to be careful. Take this as a warning. Look out for some addictions that, be, that could be coming back in April. Or if you got some now, you might want to just, like I said, try to take baby steps and get yourself back in control of your life. And it's saying that if you play, dream, loosen up a little bit, open up your heart. Maybe open it up to intimacy. Try another form of, of enjoyment. If you're drinking, if you're a heavy drinker, just try to try a playful energy. That's what it's saying. Become a kid again. Remember the kid that you used to be? How you didn't need you didn't need food or you didn't need um 
You didn't need greed or envy. You, they, you weren't all about that. You didn't have the sexual lust when you were a kid. Try to go back to your childhood and remember the things you did back then that made you happy. Maybe go back and start doing those things again. And then who knows, maybe that will alleviate whatever addictions that you have or whatever is coming back to haunt you. It's saying that if you play and dream and have fun, remember to have fun, then that will help your addictions. That's what it's saying. That's what you got here for your outcome. And it might work, so you might want to try it. So, that's your reading, Scorpio. I don't see anything really, I don't see anything bad. The good thing is that you got the Nine of Pentacles here. Yeah, but don't forget that your money is going to increase in, in more ways than you expected. But you got to practice some type of movement. So like I said, if you're just stagnant, try to put in some exercise or take a short trip or something. That's going to bring that money in. And then you got these energies here. 